Alright, <clears throat> what's going on Microscale Garagers? Been driving around the uh, the Jeep, well, now it's the Blazer. I ended up taking off the, uh, the front bumper and the rear bumper so I can slide the body on. It still needs to be held on with magnets, you know, so it'll be held in place so it won't slide around like that. But the links need to be moved a little bit. So it's just been it's been fun crawling it around. I really like this body a lot. Ah, I'm about to drop my radio. Arm um, got stuck on the radio. And then this FSGT3, I figured out how to bind it. That's what's in there right now is the FSGT3 uh, radio. And I also got it bound to the DOS, but I just can't get any programs right on the DOS and that wire. This wire right here on the channel too, it keeps coming off. So I am going to go ahead and order another receiver box. So that way I can just bind it to the radio and then hopefully I'll get the DOS running. But today's vlog, right now I'm printing off some rims for a customer and a roof rack for a D10. So we'll be getting that style uh, roof rack. And then uh, I just made a bumper for the Jeep. I call it the Jeep Me Bumper. This is just a prototype bumper because uh, the top here didn't fill in all the way. So, and then I got a second version of the truck that's going to come out where the hood's going to open up. And, you know, that's where you put your battery and there'll be a little battery cover, a little motor cover. So that's going to look pretty cool, pretty epic. But, yeah, it's, it's looking pretty good, though. I like it. I think that looks pretty scale. Little radiator fan. Can't wait when I get a light bar in there. I'm gonna move the LEDs out, but that's why I got that bag of axles from Tiny 4x4. That's why I got that frame from Tiny 4x4. I just gotta get a skid plate and a transmission. So that way I can build a <clears throat> build a blazer. But uh just wanna say me and the kids were about to get out there. I had to work on this CDI box. There was a bunch of sand in it. This is the CDI box from the SSR. We're gonna get out there and ride the go-kart around. I gotta check the lifters on it, or the valves, because I tightened down the uh, rockers a little too tight and the motor wouldn't start. So I just loosen them, motor starts, but the car runs really, really slow. So I'm gonna loosen them up again, because I don't have a feeler yeah, gauge. What is this? So I'm gonna be going by hand. That is a exercise machine. How do you use it? Um, you roll on the ground, and you do like ab crunches with it. I have to show you. But all right, you guys, it's going to be a quick little vlog. I'm going to get ready to build my Super Shocks. I got my Super Shocks in the front room. I got the, uh, well, I showed you guys I got the headlights running. So put the Super Shocks on them, get ready finally, because I've been crawling. I love the AO3. It's just like a mini TRX4. I keep crawling my AO3 with these stock shocks. Well, it's actually stock shocks, but it's got hard springs. So but I'm going to change it over to the Super Shocks, and I'm going to get ready to do a video. I'm just working on the micro course because a bunch of grass grew and I don't have no weed killer so I gotta get ready to flip some grass and then I gotta move all the rocks and then replace all the rocks so that's gonna take me about a couple days to do so I can rearrange it because I'm gonna 3d print some cool things for it but stay tuned to new running videos for micro rig episode series um, stay tuned for more micro scale garage episodes it's gonna be coming soon because we got some more build videos coming and we're gonna finish up the DOS hopefully we'll get that running and then hopefully later on today, because I got the GoPro charging, we'll have a video running of us trying to make it back there in the woods, back there to the campsite. All right, you guys, peace, like, and love. God bless, and I'll see you guys in the next video.